DominicoMinico101MMA.com. I try not to talk so loud. All right, here we go. This is Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and I have Nick Alley on the phone who fights out of. What's up, Steve? Yeah. Uh, Nick again, because I did uh, interview him a couple of months ago about uh, you know a fight that was coming up for him. Now he has another fight, uh, March 11th, fighting at Premier FC. Uh, yep. for, uh, in Agawam, Mass, a great, great card, uh, a bunch of uh, Team Link guys fighting, at, fighting on it from around all New England, and Nick happens to be one of the professionals fighting on there from the Team Link uh, crew. Uh, so, Nick, welcome to the show. How you feeling, buddy? Oh, dude, feeling awesome, man. We just got, uh, we just got done with a kick-ass fighters training. Uh, been bringing guys in the whole camp from all around New England, so it's been a good, it's been a good time. Nice. You're getting looks now. You're getting some uh, different looks from a, dump, a b bunch of people now, correct? Yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to branch out. We keep the circle small. You know, we got a few. We have a few people that we, we bring in. You know what I mean? But they always travel too, and they're they're good guys. So, you know, we we, uh, we like to cross train, but we do our own thing up here too. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, when I was up there. Uh, uh, interviewing you last time, you did have a couple of guys there that were, uh, one was mainly a boxer, but he was getting in some Muay Thai drilling in with you guys and some jiu-jitsu. Jiu jiu so yeah, you got guys coming yeah, in. He's and actually, uh, he's a D1 wrestler too, believe it or not. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, it, good, it showed because that little guy gave you a little workout, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, man, he's, uh, he's kicking out. Uh, you, you just came off a win uh, back in January, the beginning of January, where you had an incredible, uh, an incredible friggin' submission. Uh, you want to talk about that win? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I, I had a pretty, uh, pretty cool submission. Uh, I had a pretty shit overall fight. <laughs> um, I mean, a million excuses. I didn't, I didn't pull the trigger when I needed to. But you know what? Well, we've gone over, gone over the film like you know you're supposed to. Checked out. We know where I made the mistakes. Um, you know, I kind of got a little lax. But it's not going to happen anymore, man. I, I'm turning a quarter now mentally and physically, and I, I'm definitely, I'm definitely ready for to step up. Um, you know, Madison's a tough fight. Um, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go, man. This is going to be some good stuff, and then I'm not stopping either. Regardless of what happens, I'm fighting again as soon as I can. I am going to make this year my year, every year my year. Your first pro uh, debut at Premier, um, Premier 20 or something like that. That was back in like July or something, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know what? I, I think now that like, so I had my first amateur fight. I never fought for two years. I had another fight to the like, or no, I didn't even train for two years to the day after that first fight. Just, you know, life happens. You know me make wrong choices. Mm -hmm. Back in the gym, and then I've been trying to fight pretty steady with injuries. You know, a couple of, it took a couple of years for me to get three fights. But, you know, that's in the past now. I'm focusing on what I have to do to get better, be the best. Awesome. Now you're fighting Addison O'Neill, who's a pretty damn legit fighter. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah he, he fought on the last Premier card, and uh, yeah, the kid is a beast. So it's sound, you know, Cameron always puts on great matchups there. So how are you feeling about uh, going against a, a pretty, pretty good guy on the ground, and he's a pretty damn good striker also? Yeah, I feel like it's it's exactly what I wanted, man. I I have been saying to people that I don't want I don't want fights that I'm gonna regret after the fact. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go in there knowing that it's a tough opponent, and I went in there and I did what I'm supposed to do because anything else is just a waste of time at this point. You know, I'm, I'm 26, and then I'm I'm not old by any means, but I I feel like I've been training for a long time. I've been around for a long time, um, and I don't have a record to show for it, so. It's a whole lot of time in my mind, which means I'm hungry. Awesome. And yeah, you've been, you were looking for a fight for a while, you know, before you even got the last one. And you're, you're, you're the type of guy that you just want to keep going and getting better and, and, and just putting on good performances. And, you know, you, you come from a great camp out in Hooksett, New Hampshire. Uh, you got a lot of killers there. You know, Kerry Kennison, who's just in New York and won, won a title in New York for Gladius, taking out... They're basically their uh, number one woman fighter for their for their promotion. So you guys you guys got beasts coming out of that 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 camp. And now 
Uh, we got you, who's on now. Everybody's number one until they fight Jerry Jensen. That's the thing I keep hearing. Everybody's about until they fight Jerry and then they lose. Yeah, exactly. They overlook her or just say, you know, but that girl can smother you and take you right out of your game. And, you know, you want to stand up with her, she'll do that too. But you want to, you want to go for a, a, a takedown, she'll jump, she'll jump there with you. She don't mind. Yeah, she, she's, got, she's got real man strength. It's, it's something that I don't think a lot of people can prepare for. You don't realize it until she grabs a hold of you. Even though sometimes I'm like, God damn, I'm just sparring, you're not fighting it. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the funny thing about it is she fought a girl that's six foot tall, and you're that, that you're about that height, so you probably got her, yeah. you, she probably trained a little bit with you uh, heading into that camp, into yeah. that fight. Yeah, yeah me, and Carrie are, me and Carrie are close training partners. Um, she's just good people, you know what I mean? She's one of the people that you keep around regardless of, even if she fought somebody that's two feet tall, we train, we train well together. And we both have a good attitude about it. So we always, we're, I would say that we're friends in and outside of the gym anyway. Excellent. Like the, your, whole, your whole camp's like that also. Now, Nick. Yeah, uh, you got to be family. This, this is a too committed sport to, to be wishy-washy and not, not family. You know what I mean? Exactly. When you're in the cage, you're, out, you're by yourself. But out, out of that cage, you need that support that, you know, gives you the, the balls to be in that friggin' cage. You know what I mean? So, um, as far as this fight, and you said you want to keep active, we don't want to look beyond this fight. What do we expect to see from Nick from, from the last fight? Because the last fight was, pre you know, it was a quick, pretty quick decision, and now what do we expect? Um, nothing, you, everything in that last fight, I'm seriously, I'm upset from the second I walked into that cage up until I got the submission. Everything about that fight was not how I like to do do things. Um, I was I was happy with the way that I was composed. Um, there was a few situations where he kind of pulled me off the cage, and I was like, "Well, it is what it is." But I got you know I got to take a punch here to get back up to where I need to be. So I'm very happy with with my composure in there. It felt like I've been in there a million times, even though it was my second fight. Um, but as far as everything else, it's totally different. Totally different. Um, we've been working on a lot, of, a lot of good stuff, um, a lot of striking related things. Um, you know, so overall, man, the way, the way I look at it is I'm going to be the best someday, so I'm, I'm going to get better at everything, man. I'm going to get better at everything. Awesome, Nick. And you know, we talk, we, you know, on social media, and every time I talk to you, you're always, you tell me, I'm going to be a UFC champion someday. I'm going to be a UFC yeah. champion someday. And all you do, you, know, yeah, I, <laughs> you need the fights, and you're getting them now. You're starting to, you know, you're starting, your name's starting to get there, and we talked about it. How you just need a couple of fights to show your shit and, and show that you're legit as a professional fighter at, at the 170 uh, welterweight, um, and now you're doing it. You're, you're actually on the map, uh, the the map, the map, and uh, I'm I'm so I'm proud. I'm happy for you, brother. I'm so freaking happy for you. Thanks, man. That's pretty well. You know what, dude? I know guys like you. You put my name out there because I know I haven't performed in my last two fights, and I do know that. You know. Um, so I can understand people who, who look past me. So my name gets out there from people like you. You come out, you see me in the gym. So trust me, man, there's, there's a respect level that I have for you too that's, that's out there for sure. Awesome, Nick, awesome, Nick. All right, uh, let's talk sponsors, training partners, social media, uh, family, anything you want to say, now's your chance. Sponsors, as always, the only place to be, 121 Fitness and Conquer, Brian Selfies is a man. Uh, dude, he's doing big things. That guy's like no other person I've ever seen. You know what I mean? He's one of he's one of those dudes that you you don't make him as good as him. You know, he doesn't he doesn't gain anything from helping me out other than seeing me grow. And it's it's awesome when I do something that I haven't been able to do in the past, and then I do it in front of him, and he's as fired up as I am. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. you're right, fuck yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah it's, that kind of partner, you don't get that anywhere else, you know what I mean? So it's kick ass to have somebody like that. Um, and then as far as sponsors go, I really don't, I don't put options open. Those out there, Nick needs sponsors, man. The kids, he, you know, he could be, he, he's going to be 3 0 after this in a couple of weekends. Get on board. So go ahead. <laughs> um, but I got, you know, my main sponsor is always uh, Grace Wendazine. You know, they're, they're always helping me out. There's good people over there. 
Um, you know, the, the owner of it kind of trains with us when he can, when he's, when he's not so busy, but, you know, they're, they're always helping us out. Um, and, you know, I, I got tons of, tons of people that I want to thank, so it's hard to, it's hard to name them all. Obviously, my main man, Ken Murphy, he's my homie, he's my brother. Um, without that kid, I don't know what the hell I'd be sometimes. Um, and then, obviously, you know, my head coach is Ed Carr, Brent Kimber. Can't say enough about Ed, man. He's pulled me, pulled me back from the head so many times. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, the usual suspects, we got Walter Casino, Kerry Kennison, you know, Ross Levine. We got, a, we got a bunch of fools down yeah. there, you know, do, doing big stuff. Oh, uh, one last thing. We got a bunch of up-and-comers, too. We got a bunch of up-and-comers, too, so it'll be good in the next few years to see how they can out. Yeah, I was just going to mention one of them. They're doing well. I was going to mention Taylor, who fought with Kerry, but we'll save her. We're, we're, we're going to interview Taylor Colon. Yeah, we're going to, Taylor's going to get her own interview. Yeah, we're going to get her own, we're going to give her own spot. She's good, too, though. She's going to be good, man. Yeah, definitely. That, what the whole team's a sport. All right, Nick, uh, social media now. How are we getting in touch with you? Oh, God, what's my, I'm such an Instagram one, I don't even remember what I'm in. That's um, right. Yeah, Nick underscore JC underscore Alley uh, on Instagram. That's me, you'll find me. I used to be a lot more active until they told me to stop being on my phone at work. Apparently that's a frowned upon thing. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. But, <laughs> so, I haven't been posting as much as I used to. Uh, but I'm definitely super active on that. Um, you know, you can find me on Facebook at Nick Mr. Alley. I'm not... Pretty much the only tarp there in underwear with boxing gloves on, you know. <laughs> All right, Nick. So it's, it's fairly easy to find me. All right, my friend. Uh, that's Nick Alley. He's fighting March 11th, Premier FC 22 in Agawam, Mass. He's fighting Addison O'Neill, a really good, 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 good fighter from New England. Nick, 2 0, going for a third win. Uh, and, you know, he's off to a a great professional professional career. So, Nick, thank you for coming on, and I'll see you in two weeks, brother. Yeah, definitely, and I appreciate it.